And we're learning more about the Muslim man accused of shooting two soldiers at a military recruiting center in Arkansas and his possible motive. One of the soldiers died in yesterday's attack. And CNN's David Mattingly is in Little Rock, where the suspect appeared in court this morning. The police report spells it out all in black and white. This 23-year-old alleged shooter told police he knew exactly what he wanted to do when he pulled up at a military recruiting office here in Little Rock yesterday. He told police he wanted to kill U.S. soldiers and that he would have killed more if he had the chance. He opened fire on the two soldiers who were standing outside a recruiting office, killing one and wounding the other. Abdul Hakim Muhammad allegedly gave police a videotaped statement saying he was a practicing Muslim retaliating for what the military had done to Muslims in the past. He appeared in court under heavy guard this morning, surprisingly pleading not guilty. Authorities here say they believe he acted alone and was not part of a bigger terrorist plot. Mr. Mohammed, previously known as Mr. Bledsoe, did convert, convert uh, to Islam. Uh, sometime previously uh, uh, in his life. Um, at this point, it appears that he specifically targeted uh, military personnel, but it doesn't appear to be a wider conspiracy or at this point in time any indication that he's a part of a larger group or, or a, a conspiracy that goes further. Everyone now digging into Abdul Hakim Mohammed's past, trying to find out why he turned violent he has gone through a couple of name changes. He used to be known as Carlos Bledsoe. The Islamic community here in Little Rock is not very large. Only about 300 people were told gather to worship every week at the Islamic Center. The president of that center tells us they have never heard of this person, but he is now charged with one count of capital murder and 16 counts of a terrorist act. David Mattingly, CNN, Little Rock, Arkansas. Now, we don't often hear of attacks on military recruiting centers here in the U.S., but it happens a lot in Iraq, Pakistan, and Afghanistan. We're going to find out more about that in our next video.